I want to take just a few minutes today to talk to you about something that's very near and dear to my heart. It's really a message that resonates with me in a powerful way because it's kind of like my life message. So many of you hear me talk about surrender, and I think that's probably one of the most important messages we can talk about because really God can't do anything that He wants to do in our life if we don't surrender totally. But once we have totally surrendered, and most of you watching know the Lord, you've accepted Him into your heart and life, uh, what do we do from there? Well, I wanna tell you that God has a great plan for your life. And when we surrender and allow really to pray that prayer, Lord, okay, I'll do what you want me to do. I'll go where you want me to go. I'll be what you want me to be. When we sincerely pray that prayer, then it really opens the door for God to use us in a supernatural way because He knows the gifts and talents that He has on the inside of you. So here we are, we've surrendered our life to the Lord. Many of you are in the will of God and you're working in ministry or you've got a profession you feel called to, but this is something that happens to everyone. It's really what I call a trick from the enemy. And that is, we've been hurt. There have been people that hurt us, situations that have hurt us, life has hurt us, family members, husband, wife, etc. And the name of the message that I shared was called Expectations. And I think that we at times can have unrealistic expectations in those around us. When we live our life uh, hoping to fulfill expectations that we have in another human being, that's where we get tripped up because God is the only one that can meet all of those expectations. So during this next year, I really want you to think about, you know, where does my help come from? And I, I use that scripture in Psalms 121. It says, I lift up my eyes to the hills for where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. So you have to understand that at the end of the day, people are gonna always disappoint you. I don't care who they are. I don't care how perfect they are. As much as I will try not to disappoint you or say something or do something that would hurt you, I'm sure that I have. Did I mean to? No, I mean, I wanna help people. That's why I do television. That's why I interview people from all over the world and talk about various subjects because I wanna bring information to you to help you. But at the same time, you have to understand I'm only a human being. I'm gonna make mistakes, do and say things that I shouldn't say. And so you can't have an expectation in me or anyone else that we're gonna be perfect because we're not. At the end of the day, we know where our help comes from. It comes from the Lord. And when we think about that, and when we operate in that realm of, okay, I understand that. So God is the one that's my source. That's really what I'm saying. God is your source today. So what are my three points real quickly? Number one, we have to serve without expectation. Mark 10, 43 and 45 says, but it shall not be so among you, but whoever would be great among you must be your servant and whoever would be first among you must be slave of all. For even the son of man came not to be served, but to serve. Yes, Jesus was the greatest servant. You know the happiest people in the world? The happiest people in the world that I've met and interviewed, and you have to realize I've been interviewing people for over 35 years, are the people that serve without expectation. There is such incredible blessing when we give out of ourselves to serve others. So just remember that. Think about your neighbor, think about somebody in need and think, how can I serve them? How can I be a blessing? That will bring you greater joy than anything else. The second one, love without expectation. John 13, 34 says, a new commandment I give to you that you love one another just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. There are so many people that are at war with people. They're at war with their neighbors, their, their boss or their spouse or a, a family member. I'm, I'm gonna tell you a secret. If you will love them, without expectation, but love them with the love of the Lord and say, God, you know, I don't have that, but I'm going to love them. And just, you, you will see that thing turn 180 degrees because you begin to operate in a realm that's not of this world. So you say, well, how, how, can, how can I solve this problem? I'm just telling you, love conquers everything, but do it without expectation. Just make the decision that you're going to love them and not expect anything in return. The last, of course, point is forgive 
without expectation. Ephesians 4, 31 and 32 says, get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, and get this, just as Christ forgave you. It's so important that you forgive, not just for the other person that God can begin to work in them in a way that you may not know or even understand. But I'm telling you, if you make the decision to forgive without expectation and release them to the Lord, there is just a load that's gonna be lifted off of you and you are going to be free. And you say, well, I can't do that. Let me tell you how you start doing it. You just begin to pray for them. And every day it gets easier and easier, but you are gonna find joy and peace in a way that you've never had before if you can do that. Hope it's been a blessing to you. Father, I just pray for everyone that's watching. God, you know the struggle. You know their particular circumstance. You know and understand everything. I pray that you would flood that room where they're watching right now with the presence of God and minister them in a special way. And Father, help them to be able to serve, to love, and forgive. In Jesus' name, amen.